home alone. The McAllister family is preparing to spend Christmas in Paris, gathering at Kate and Peter's home in Chicago suburb on the night before their departure. Kate and Peter's youngest son Kevin is the subject of ridicule by his siblings and cousins due to his immature behavior. Kevin inadvertently ruins the family dinner after a scuffle with his oldest brother Bus in which Kevin's airplane ticket is unknowingly thrown away resulting Kate sending him to the attic Kevin berates his mother for allowing the rest of the family to pick on him and wishes that his family would disappear during the night heavy winds create a power outage disabling the alarm clocks and causing the family to oversleep in the confusion and rush to get to the airport Kevin is accidentally left behind Kevin wakes to find the house empty and family car still in the garage unaware that they had rented vans to take them to the airport thinking that his wish has come true he is overjoyed with his new found freedom later Kevin becomes frightened by his next door neighbor old man Marley rumored to be a serial killer who murdered his own family the McAllister home is soon stalked by the wet bandits Harry and Marv a pair of burglars who have been breaking into other vacant houses in the neighborhood Kevin tricks them into thinking that his family is still home forcing them to postpone their plans to rob the McAllister house Kate realizes mid flight that Kevin was left behind and upon arrival in Paris the family discovers that all flights for the next 2 days are booked and the phone lines are still down back at home in chicago peter and the rest of the family stays in his brother's apartment in paris while kate manages to get a flight back to pennsylvania she fails to find a flight to chicago but meets gus polinski the leader of a traveling polka band who offers to let her travel with them to chicago in a moving van on christmas eve Harry and Marv finally realize that only Kevin is in the McAllister home and Kevin overhears them discussing plans to break into the house that night. Kevin starts to miss his family and asks the local Santa Claus impersonator if he could bring them back for Christmas. He goes to church and watches a choir perform, eventually re-encountering Marley, who proves the rumors about him are false. Marley points out his granddaughter in the choir and mentions he has never met her since she is the daughter of his estranged son. Kevin suggests Marley should reconcile with his son. Kevin returns home and rigs the house with booby traps. Harry and Marv break in, spring the traps and suffer various injuries. Kevin calls the police and lures the duo into a vacant neighborhood house that they had previously broken into. Harry and Marv ambush Kevin and prepare to get their revenge but Marley intervenes and knocks them out with his snow shovel the police arrive and arrest Harry and Marv having identified all the houses that they broke into due to their habit of flooding them on christmas day kevin is initially disappointed to find that his family is still gone but kate arrives home and they reconcile The rest of the family then returns after waiting in Paris for a direct flight to Chicago. Kevin keeps silent about his encounter with Harry and Marv, although Peter finds Harry's knocked out gold tooth. Kevin then happily watches Marley reuniting with his son, daughter-in-law and granddaughter. The end.